There we go. Now I'll have audio. Hopefully. But you can see. Oh yeah, here we go. Some of the old classic trucks. An old white. Look at this stuff. You never get to see this stuff anywhere. I mean, come on. Not many places in the world can you come and stand right next to some of these old classic trucks. This stuff is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy to see. Look at here, an old cab over Peterbilt. Another one that you don't get to see very often. Very cool. Look at a single axle cab over. Nice old truck going by. Look at a single axle cab over. I mean, look at that. You don't see single axle cab overs anywhere. I mean, that's that's just literally a coffin sleeper on it. You want to talk about some neat, neat stuff. Here's another cab over, older style. What is that one, international? GMC. I mean, here's an old road commander, a white. Those things are ancient. So I get a little bit better view. I mean, great old white, old H and H, international. We got tons and tons of things to come down here and look at. How's my audio, bud? That's the one thing I've been worried about. Good? Well, that's good, because I'm trying a new setup. You're live, guys. How's it going? Now, look at all the old trucks coming down through here. Oh, look at that. As the wife just pointed out, one of the old, old time fire trucks. Look at that. You imagine back in the day driving this? Old style farm, farm tires on it? Wow. Hey guys. All the hose carrying. Made in central St. Louis. That is wicked. Very, very cool. So we're just going to walk around through here a little bit. It's not raining right now. Here's an old Mac. You don't see too many old, old Macs. B30 Mac. Dump bed? Nope. Straight sock. Thought maybe it would have been for a grain hauling. Or wood hauling. Now we get into all the tractors. Next thing I really want to get down into. Joe's hosting me. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Yeah, we are down here at the Steam and Gas Show. It's a Wisconsin thing that happens every year. This place is a blast because we got, they, they're coming through like this out there. You'll see here where they give people rides on tractors coming out of the parking lot area over here. They have every kind of convenience you can think of. You can see just about anything down here. Any, every kind of tractor, everything. This stuff is just wicked. We're gonna get down towards the area where they have some more of the steam stuff going on. I 
Uh, no, not that old, not that old, Joe. But I drove a lot of old Macs. I drove a uh, twin stick Mac. I drove a uh, triple stick Mac. Twin stick Macs are a lot of fun. They're actually a lot of fun to drive. I've drove a lot of older trucks. People, uh, people just don't understand how much fun it is to drive the older trucks. Here's a whole bunch of the old tractors. Oh, here we go. This is what you guys want to see. We're going to head down over here. We got, I can hear it from here. This is the area you guys want to get into. Who is that? Ah, Ace is in there. But look at this one show. This farmer lets them use this land every year. Anybody ever want to come down here? You let me know. I'll give you an actual pin drop. You can come down here. This thing is awesome. Got to watch my battery. I can smell the coal burning. Can't see my battery life, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. 89%. We're still doing good. This is the stuff I love to see. I can see the coal fire smoke right over there. Look at that, that's coal fire for you people. Nothing like good old coal. They also have a construction thing going on over there. See they're running tractors around. Watch it on. They got all kinds of good boys down here. All the old farm equipment. Oh yeah, the big steam engines. You're fine. Kinda. This is where we're gonna get into a whole bunch of good fun stuff. These boys are just a chugging away over here. I don't know if they're cutting firewood this year again. They've done a lot of different stuff. Look at that, old tractors, old eagles. Oh, the old workhorses of the days. Look at that old boy, 1913, Ooh. a lot of them not running, old heart car, a lot of these big old boys, old workhorses of the day. Now we're going to get into some noise, these boys are up and they're chugging, look at this, I'd love to be running something like this. Yeah, I hear you, Joe. These are horsepower boys. I've seen these guys pull vehicles and stuff. They're just getting them going. Look at that. That's the raw power right there. They're firing them up. You don't get to see this stuff too often. You come down here, you can see it. And I think that has more horsepower and actually more torque than even a semi today. Running coal. Running coal. Things are wicked. So they have a belt drive. the old way of doing things. Hey, we got somebody else in here going and making a video. Hey, I'm live streaming five channels at once. Five channels at once. Yes, I got a special setup. Five channels. YouTube, Twitch, DLive, Trovo, and Facebook all at the same time. Just live streaming all of them on all, all at one time. Jeez. All right. I'm just taking videos for my YouTube channel. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go quite that far. Streaming's easy. I know it is. I like the streaming side of it. I got I got a whole chat and everything going. Yeah, I enjoy streaming too. I stream everything. I do a lot of video games. Yeah. 
Yeah, they got a little setup here where they were screening. Okay. Just streaming. Let's see what these guys are doing over here. Let's get over here and see what these guys are doing. Get up here and see what what do we got going on here. Oh yeah, look at how he sunk into the mud. That doesn't give you an idea how much rain we've had. Look at that. They got a whole setup for brake brake power going on. Let's walk around. There's the balls out. Set up. There's. A little bit different of a setup on this one because the engine's sitting down below. Which is kind of neat. They have a gear drive steering right there. You see where the shaft comes down, goes right to there, goes over, and it goes to the joint down there in the middle. And that actually does your steering. Pretty slick. You can feel the heat from here because they're burning wood. Wood burns hot. Yeah, he's sunk right in. We got all these steam engines firing up. So there's an engine on each side. Short stroke engine on each side. That's kind of cool. That sucker would have some some torque to it. That thing could pull. What do they got going on here? What do we got going here? Oh, the forces. Just idling. Let's see. They're just idling. 60 pounds of force and they're only idling. That's freaking cool. That's all a braking setup. They have a water bath to keep it cool. Get to see all of these guys this year. Let's go over here and see how many other ones are firing up. I can hear some other engines starting up. Oh yeah, we'll walk around here, get to the other side. We got a whole bunch. That guy's puffing away. Got these guys up over here. These guys are running the belt drives for all the woodwork. Gotta love that smell of that coal burning. Nice E13 Reeves. Very cool. Another case right there, single cylinder. What? Uh, these two guys are fired up. Not running hard yet. Oh, look at how small that guy is. Hey, Joe, I found a tractor for you. That guy's so cute. Look at that. That guy is so cute. Look at a fat tire in the back end on it. Hey, Joe, there's a tractor for you. That's so cool. That is so cool. There he goes. He's pumping her up hard. One thing I miss is being in that era when they fire up those steam engines and just kick out the horsepower. 
seeing that arm just to go on it, you know it's making motion. Love that sound. I wish I was back in that air, I'd be happy hearing them engines go like that. Nowadays the car engines just suck because they don't have any, they don't have none of the character. The character of those steam engines when they get them going. Oh, we got a hit and miss running over here. Yep, that's a true hit and miss right over here. Those are another engine that are really neat. I see the other two steam boys slow down. All right. Oh yeah, that's a good hit and miss engine right there. Oh, you're fine. I'm one of the few that can live stream the five places at once. So I try to get out here whenever I can. Old hit and miss engines are wicked. Well, as you guys can see, it is a true hit and miss engine. Because watch, it doesn't fire like a regular car. You can see the actuation of that bar right there that comes across sliding on that rail. See how it's catching that little arm right there? That determines when she's gonna fire. You see the spark? Things are wicked. What's the water for? Uh, cooling. Cooling uh, uh, the, the backside of the cylinder. Okay, okay, yeah, yep, yep, yep. It just recirculates, it recirculates to keep keep cylinder so she when you're running hard. Yep, gotcha. Yeah, I can see it steaming a little bit, so yeah, she's probably about 140, 160. Yeah. Well, that'll be nice, because I'll watch. So and everybody else. They got the second engine belted now. Make sure the belt tracks, and then... Uh, yeah, align it, make sure it's not... Yep, yep, and then they'll couple them together, both engines will work together. They're going to couple them together? Yeah. Nice. Governor, so right, right, and... right. <laughs> We're gonna walk to the other side. We're gonna watch these guys fire up. They're gonna get ready to fire up here in a minute. Yeah. They're they're interlinking the two of them so that what they can do is run the setup in here. Because they have the sawmill set up that they run every year too. Give you a little peek inside here. So he's running one blade, a chopper blade here. That's what that hit and miss engine's running is this cutter blade. They, they chop the ends off, square them up. Then they have this steam engine here, as you can see. raising up like that so I can avoid all the people. Now you can see got the one main engine, secondary engine. The other one said they're going to interlink them so they can run together. See there they're loading up the firewood. <sighs> Minneapolis, very cool. So when they fire that up, they're going to be running the main bulk of the mill between the two of them. They got to run them in tandem so that they can get enough horsepower delivered into the mill to run the mill. The old ways of doing production. We could actually go inside here and watch them when they fire up. 
Oh, they're getting ready. Let's go sneak in here. Here we go. They are going to be running the process here. Both the engines are firing up out there. There they go. They're running in sequence. You can see them puffing away out there. Now the belts are turning. He's setting the, the distance for it. This is a neat thing about this stuff. Oh, you're fine. This is the actual old way of cutting lumber that a lot of people forget about. How they hand roll them in and everything. On the farm when I was growing up, we used to do a lot of the same stuff. What's that, Joe? Oh, yeah. So you got to be careful because they got to keep that knot so that it's in the right spot. There they go. They want that knot in the right spot, otherwise they'll get really bad logs when they cut their boards. Now look at how they have to muster this so hard. It actually came off their other board. So what does it take? Manpower. Trying to get it on that flat. So when they trim. So now they're gonna shim it. What they're gonna do is they're going to put a block on this back side, kick it over a little bit so they can try to square it up. Now what he's going to do is he's going to start to pull it towards them or away from them. There he goes. They're going to try to roll it a little bit different. Yep, here they go. They're going to block it. Like I said, I did a lot of stuff when I was growing up. A lot of people never get to see this stuff. It may not be as efficient, but when you take how many people are working on this, what makes it so neat is the pride that you can get it yourself. That's the one thing that we're missing today. When you do something like this, you didn't have it made in China. You didn't have it made anywhere else. You made it yourself, or you went down to your local mill and made it. That's a huge difference that we missed today. Let's sneak down in here so you guys can see. Sneak by ya. Just trying to get a better view. So now what you're gonna see is they're gonna start to slice off the sides. That blade has removable teeth, more than likely. Old school ways, man. Nothing beats it. Now he's making an adjustment for the next cut. The bad thing about the big old blades is they're not as efficient. They take a bigger swath. The blade we use in our firm was about a quarter inch we'd lose every time we made a cut. 
They also have a planer running over there where they can hand plane the, where they can use the steam power to plane the boards down. As they sneak over here. We might actually get to see them plane a board. Yep, there he goes. So what that's gonna do, is zoom in. Good. Taking all the saw marks out. Right there, took all the saw marks out. Very efficient, really. You can see here, let me zoom back out. Nothing like it. Old days of doing it. But look at how big those boards are. Look at how wide them are. Them keep going. We're gonna go walk around. Come out. So we'll let you look at my ugly mug for a little bit. Oh. Get back over here. I don't know where my wife is hiding, but you guys can look at me for a minute. Hey, Han. Han. Oh, she's actually ignoring me. She's looking for where I went. But yeah, you guys can look at my ugly mug for a minute as we walk over this way. So many people over here, I just want to get out of here without recording too many people. So relax, i am got it on me. That's why you're fine. I got it on me right now, because there's so many people over there, I just didn't want to show all the people. I just kind of wanted to get out of here. Get over to this side and see the steam engines more. All right. Now you'll get to see the other side of it all. When I swap over my camera view, now you can see why they'll have two steam engines. Here we go. taking both of those steam engines to turn that drive shaft to turn all of the equipment inside there. So there's chain drives that come off that feed and there's a belt there that runs the planer. All of that. You can see all of that. The other really neat thing is when you're looking at the steam engines, a lot of people don't understand what is the horsepower meaning? Well, Horsepower rating, horsepower rating is different on steam engines. They are really unique because a single horsepower on a steam engine is way higher than even a car engine rating for horsepower. I mean, they're just sitting there. And look at them both shake. They have so much counterweight and everything. And from that one engine there, just chucking away. They just sit there and shake, and they'll actually shake yourself right down into the ground. Which is really cool. But they'll sit here and they keep bringing them more wood. Let me try some.
try to rotate my camera. All right. Hold the base for a second, hon. I'm going to do something a little different. Let's see if this changes your view. How's my audio sounding still, Joe? There. That'll give you a much broader view. Hopefully it doesn't screw my stream up. Got my audio. I love seeing this stuff. And I am streaming in 60 frames. My battery life is what? 79%. We're doing really good. Did you bring your charging cable? In the truck. <laughs> the one thing we forget. Hang on. There we go. Flip it back. You actually want to run and get that while I keep walking around? I'll be I'll be in this area. Go on this side of me. I'm gonna go over here. And... If you can go run over and get the phone cable and grab my headset, just as a backup. All right, now we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna show the hit and miss engine. And that's the neat thing, they're not, it's not belching out crazy amounts of fuel to keep it running. They're really neat, the hit and miss engines. They are just wicked. I should try and see if I can get one of these guys to give me a ride on one of the steam engines. But as you can see, this thing goes on for acres and acres. It never ends. Hey, so if you're listening, you wanna go to my computer and shut off Dixper? The Dixper Pro is running. My Dixper Bro is still running. Now you get to hear just how loud these steam engines are. It's going to be just as loud for you guys as it is for me. And he is just a chucking away. cooling to try to keep it cool. Just showing you how much actual horsepower these engines have. Got getting soot everywhere. Got to refill in the water. They're all trying to get on the numbers board. I mean, that engine is not working that fast. It's awesome. You see right there, never even heard the term, balls out. Right there. Right there. 
when those balls actually separate, the valve opens up, they get full steam. That means that they're balls out, that, that steam will be 100% going to the engine. Really cool. So each one of these guys keeps coming up here and they're trying to get the best steam engine. set up. All these old grain processing setups being run from what? What is he using to drive it? Ah, he has the old John Deere. He's cheating. But now, when you're in the old days in the factories, this is the kind of stuff that they would do. One belt would drive, a drive, drive one drive shaft, that belt would drive another drive shaft, that drive shaft would drive a couple pieces of equipment. That would, you keep, look at how they can snake it from one to the next. It's all based on pulley size. I mean, look at all this. <laughs> look at that. That's the neat thing. Then we can always, they always have somebody down here that is doing um, corn husking and all of that going. Look at all this stuff. That was probably like a corn cob cleaner. There's a grinder, I think. Here they had uh, mulchers for hog feed. What do we got here? Rock crusher. Jaw crusher, actually. Yep, jaw crusher. Being run from a hit and miss engine. Crushing rock. Old fashioned ways of doing it. Here's another hit and miss. Fairbanks Morris. Not missing much. Constantly running. That little tractor style design. Having a heck of a time keeping that sucker moving. Oh, somebody was doing blacksmithing. Yep. Old hand crank valve. Have to walk back through and see if he comes back out. This is where it gets to be interesting. We're gonna go see a bunch of the hit and miss engines. Try to get that one going. We got these guys down here running. Look at. Water pumpers. Old ways of pumping the water. 
Look at that. Really neat. That is cool. Guys, if you're listening, you want to go turn my dicks for bro off? It's on my main computer. It's still running. It's posting in the chat. 1930. There's an old John Deere, old International. They're just getting that one running. It's neat how they work. Put water in the main parts to keep the cylinder cool. Very, very cool. All kinds of unique stuff down here to look at. We're just getting into the start of it. There's so much to see down here. Oh, Ford, there we go. Look at that. Grand old Ford. Another hit and miss engine. Lots of stuff. Another hit and miss engine. Not missing very much. Decover. Ah, oh, here you go. Old knitting machine. What year is that from? This is about 1920. Nice. One size only that it would make? Well, no, but some of them, some, some things like that. From my mom, when she worked sewing and doing a lot of different stuff, they had a lot of different machines. And so some of them could go different sizes, like they could go down. A little bit. If you, know, if you tighten up the stitch, you can make it smaller, but there's a limit to how big it's right. small it can go. Uh, you can't make a stocking cap, but that's going to be a much bigger mm -hmm. cylinder. Or when my mom worked, she made jackets, and they had all them cuffs that you'd have at the end. That's what, it, and, that's what this one is. Right, right. Yeah. So they had a different yeah. cuff. They had one that was a double word. It would actually do two layers, oh, and then they would sew the layers they yeah, cut it and sew yep. one end and then flip it and then sew it to the jacket. Right oh, okay. Okay. That way it always had that thick, thicker on the end. Sure. Really neat stuff. Yep. And where was that at? Uh, Rippin when they used to work at, uh, uh, there's right next to, uh, down from Rippin Cookie over there, yep. but then um, they sold it out and now it's something else. Very cool. All right. So it's a knitting machine. They go down and make sure that the needle is We're going to show it again. Right there where the yarn goes in the hook of the needle. Yeah. The lad closes over the top of it and then it'll cast off the stitch. You go around the yarn and put it behind that and flat. Go on the apron. Two yarns can now go in the hook. The lad covers over and then it'll cast off the stitch. They talked about ingenuity. They had yes. it way back then too, uh, didn't they? Oh, I know. And that's what people don't understand today is just because stuff is new yeah, and you modern. Push button and it does things. Yeah. This is you more miss out. Than some of it. Just think of how many people worked on that to make it. Yeah. It started with someone's idea and then a couple years later. Well, I don't know. Marketing's not the best. I, I can manufacture, but the marketing is on this show. <laughs> but you know, on that same thought too, even the engine. You can see the crankshaft, you can see the valves. Now 
go to your car. That's all you in there. Need, you don't need to go to the computer and talk to Japan how to fix oh, it, no, right? No. <laughs> or order a part that'll take a year to get there. Yeah. Right. It's back order. how you make the part. It's back order three weeks. Well, two weeks is not two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. For ripping hosiery up there one There's time. a few places. Yeah. It only goes so big. Uh, depending on how tight I make this system with it. Yeah, this is definitely hey, back over this way from my wife. She should be coming. I forgot my power cable. So much stuff in here. So much stuff to see. I want to get back over this way for the like I said, my wife should should be coming. I know this, it's really humid. Neat seeing how they do all this stuff. Most people would have never thought that that's how that stuff was done. But back in the day, all the knitting factories, all your cotton, all your clothing, they had these same belt systems like that, and they'd have a big old engine that would run the whole factory, one engine. All right, let's see if my wife is back out over here. Oh, the other steam engine's running. They're actually driving. They got done with their test. Each different tractor keeps coming in here. Wish I'd have seen that. Maybe we'll see when the next one comes up. See, there's an old McCormick. He's gonna try to rev her out. There's an old farm all. Everybody's coming down here. Look at this guy. Here you can actually see him in motion. Now you can see the engines actually turning everything. Look at that. But you can see how slow that engine's turning. Doesn't have to go very fast. That's all steam engines have torque from zero. RPMs all the way up. It doesn't matter if it's one RPM per minute. That's the neat thing. Twin cylinders, one on each side. Can't tell if they're single acting or double acting. Now he's backing her up. See, there's that steering I was talking about. There's the balls out, Governor. Oh yeah, really cool. Got the little boy running. That's cool. Got him steaming a little bit. Yep, this is all summer.
something very unique. We're having troubles over there. Like I said, they give all these rides. They have tractors always running, giving people rides so you don't have to walk in the mud. One of those steam engines over here had a problem or something happened because I heard I heard one of them just start to puff out really hard. We're gonna see where my wife went to. Yeah, you can hear them. when they throttle it up. That's what's neat. When they go to cut, listen to it throttle up. The resistance, <coughs> the resistance when they're cutting, you'll hear it. That's really cool. They both throttle up at the same time, too. Which is really cool. Technology of the past that's still relevant today, and we're going to need it one day again. If we don't ever keep it alive, we're going to lose out. This technology will save us one day, especially with the way our governments are going. As soon as they make another cut over there, you'll hear them both rev up. Coming for you? What time is it? <laughs> so, if you can plug into both battery packs or one of them with one of my cables. My phone, this one. That's for the headset. So I will plug it in right now. Keep it charging. that in the backpack. It should be charging now. See? Yep, we're charging. Very good. Let's go walk back. I was trying to keep it to. I'm waiting for you. I walked all around already. It is a long walk. I don't know how my audio sounds using this Bluetooth setup. I haven't seen Ace back in chat. I want him to turn my Dixper bro off. That keeps going off. <laughs> All 
the steam engines. So I was down here by the uh, hit and miss engines and all that stuff. Really neat. Like I said, I just want to get down here and do a live stream. See how it goes. Oh, now I can see it. My, my chat got paused. Okay, on your PC, you want me to go turn your dick spur off. Hang on, let me check my mic. That better? I, yeah, I couldn't hear, uh, I didn't know how my my mic was doing. I can switch over to my other headset. Yeah, they're doing, that's what I was walking towards. I went down that way, it's really neat. All kinds of stuff they got going on here. Making silage, actually. Using this tractor. Look at that. Making silage. Here they're all trying to get into the horsepower war. Showing their numbers off. <clears throat> I showed all that, that's really neat. Still love seeing that stuff. The old styles ways of factories. All the belts, one, one engine would run all the equipment off the belts. Down here it was really neat. I've been waiting for you to get down here. All these old hit and miss engines and all this stuff, really neat. It's a little blue icon on the bottom. It's a blue icon on the bottom. Just click on it, it'll bring it up and then just close it. Just close it. Yeah, if you click on it, then it'll bring it up and just close it. Yeah. It has a little smiley face, it's Wife is talking to the kid now. <clears throat> Pace garden tractors. All the little lawn tractors and everything else. Oh, there we go. There's a big steam engine. What's he doing? Uh, here you go. Right there, boys and gals. Get to see the steam engine come past.
What's neat is they don't have a lot of RPM on them. Look at that. He's just chugging along. Slow RPM. Joe, you're fine. You have a good one. We'll catch you later. But look at it. Just pump, 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 pump. Thing's barely even moving for the engine. So neat on how all that stuff works. Burning coal. Yeah. But as you guys can see, it's a nice steam engine. That's for sure. Hit me with the umbrella. Now, this is where I was walking down through a little bit. Hit the miss engines back over here. All kinds of stuff here. About naming it's here. Another hit and miss engine. As a saw, you see here that counterweight swinging between there and there. There is no pin going back through that, just bolted right there. Then it has the gear. That gear is a smaller to a larger, so that gives it more torque. Fire that thing up. Cutting your cutting your wood. It's really neat. Another hit and miss. Old chainsaws. Like I said. Look at that old power horse. That's wicked. Two man saw. Miss running. You see here where they got the water for keeping the head cool. You see the actual head unit right down here. There's all the assembly for when it's going to be missing. It's going to be missing and when it's going to fire. They are just a unique engine. All the counterweight is what keeps it moving. It's called momentum. Hopefully my audio is still good. All the old two-man chainsaws. Handle on the other side for another guy to hang on to it because they're so heavy. Slab wood. All oh, living chainsaw stuff. A whole bunch more up this way. Like I said, this place goes on forever. 
neat thing. You can just walk, walk around through here all over. Look at there, steam car. Hey! Same with steamer. Very cool. Said yeah, everything's running around out here. Old sawmill, portable. Hit and miss engine on it. Look at all this stuff. Just keep going and going and going. You can spend days down here walking around. Didn't miss tractor. Look at that. Very cool. Chain drive for steering. Here's the other wood shop. They always have this every year. Shop stuff is kind of neat. You never know what you're going to see. Eh, it's more of a craft this year. You can see here, though, they have all crafts. All the crafts in there. Sneak back through over here. There's more engines and stuff back this way. Where do you want to go? What do you think? We'll just have the kid come get you. Whatever. Oh, the Avery building lines right there. Another steam tractor in there. Reaching the old hit and miss engine. There, he's just getting that one going. You can hear it breathing. He's trying to fire. I don't know how much longer I'm going to make the stream because it's getting really humid and it could just start raining anytime. I think it's cool that we even got out here to do the first live stream like this. It's not playing a video game. All the old home on, home home equipment, snow blower, got a rotor tiller. Walk behind. Road sweeper for cleaning off driveways and all of that. All the old John Deere tractors. Generators. Small power plants. Oh, that fan feels good. There you go. Compressed air engine. There could be steam, but they're running on compressed air. It's all very cool. There you go. Now you can hear a banger. Good hit and miss engines. 
as they all sit there and fire. This guy likes to make a little noise. The crowd, yeah. That motor sure is nice and loud. This place is always, 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 always busy. Always. All these hit and miss engines. This guy's just a puffing away. It's on runaway, it's gonna overheat. Look at them all. This guy's nice. He's just at a very high, low idle. Watch. He's going to stop. Nope. It fires. Very, very cool. See that inner... You can see the inner belt right there. That's where you can run a drive belt off of it, like what we saw with some of the other stuff. About when you think it's going to stop, spring jitters, bingo, she fires. All of these old things. So, what do you got up here? This one over here. Yeah, even though my view count ain't showing on here. Young Will, how's it going? We got all kinds of people, the crowds, yeah. Fire, how's it going? We are down here at the Steve McGash Show. It's a Wisconsin thing every year. We're going to try to make it here more often. It's been raining something fierce here. The people is right. There is crowds everywhere. This is a food court area. As you can see, we have a very big, big, big food court area. Let's sneak back over here towards the tractors. Huh? Jeep's ready again? Oh my God. I'm not gonna get any sleep this weekend. What did, you, what did you do? Take the brake, parking brake assembly apart? That's what I told you to do. Is that what fixed it? I don't know. Well, you know. should talk not, to him. Not. Give me the umbrella and whatever else you need me to hold. That, okay, fine. I got it. Let's go. Quit arguing. Fire just came into the stream, too. I had Picard in there. I had everybody in there earlier. But yeah, the crowds down here is always a big thing. Huge amounts of people. Huge amounts of people. Let's keep a general view. All right. As you can see, we still are alive. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this, people. Steam car, custom made. That is so cool. Put a new caliper on it? That's what I was afraid of. On one side or both? If he did one, he want him to do both. I'd rather wait an extra day. All right, let's go see if they got the auction going on. See what they got going on here. Let's 
cattle, corn. Oh yeah, they have an auction going as normal probably. You never know. Combinations. Potato picker. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff in here. And they got a whole flea market. As you can see, we got a whole big flea market all the way down through here. It's acres and acres and acres. I could spend a day walking around just there. You enjoying it down here? Yeah, I am enjoying it down here. That's cool. You just run five different channels live right okay, there. All right. All right. All right, all right. Have a good one. Some people take it cool is it when you're going when you're streaming. Other people are like, I don't want to be on stream. Oh, what? That was funny. Yeah, well, it's, he's he's a little handicapped. I get it. It's cool. He's a, a people like that. I love to appease to. Just so that he's like, oh, can I say hi? And he realizes you're live. It's like, yeah, you can say hi. I know, but I was trying to avoid him a little bit. Could you imagine if you had to go to work every day? People, people don't understand this today. If you had to go to work every day. Now, what you don't realize one, two, three steering wheels. Each wheel does something different. First one is your main steering. You have your throttle control. Uh, probably gear selection there for the trans. Now this side here changes the pitch on this side of the blade. That one changes the pitch on that side of the blade. So you can actually tilt the blade side to side, which is really cool. And that's how they used to grade the roads. Like driveways and everything. People don't even understand a lot of that. How much work do we have to do to get a job done? And it's, what's neat is it's not change driven, but if you look right there, it's actually like a, almost like a piece of steel bar in there. That makes the lugs that that big sprocket rides on. Was a four cylinder? Yep. Little four cylinder. Very cool. You want the umbrella back now so you can see in shade? Call the kid and go home. I don't care. Or I love going I love going to shows like this. These kinds of shows, the steam engines, man, I would just I love the steam engine stuff because people don't understand that it made our history that we have today. But the steam engine one day, if, our, if everything keeps going like it is, one day the steam engine will come back and save us. You want to get going? What time is I'm it? I'm waiting for Dave to come in here. Okay, so. you want to walk out that way then? No, I'm just stuck. Okay. No, I love Dad. The whole flea market I can show. I'm not even gonna go over there. I just love the steam engine stuff. If I could, I would have my own big steam engine set up. Get back over here. They got a whole bunch more stuff going on with the tractors. Whew, it's getting hot here today now. Ugh. All that rain we had now is making the humidity rise. Yeah. But now all these tractors will be getting going. That's the neat thing. And, and that is the other thing. There's tractors everywhere you look. Every kind, every make, you name it. Old Alice Chalmers, big Alice Chalmers. 
smaller ones. Let this guy go through. Like I said, you get tractor rides when you come here. Lots and lots and lots of tractor rides. You can jump on different ones and ride all over the place. Coming forward, 7,000. I mean, just look at all the tractors. This stuff is just amazing to see. How people and farmers and everybody else keep these all alive. There they go. They're all blowing. Steam train hour. Listen. There they go. Steam trains all over. Look at them pour out the steam. Oh my God. That is so wicked. They all blow their whistle at one time. Oh, join a club. These steam trains over, the tractors and all that. Oh, look at these old power plants. Like I said, this place, you never know what you're going to see. All the old power plants. Everybody and their cousin just loads up any of their old equipment that is just still running and working. Let's get over here towards the steam. I love seeing the steam engines. I could, I could actually just sit and ride on a steam, anything steam. I've been on a few steam trains before, but I'll tell you what, I'd love to be up in the front. Even these old hit and miss engines. I mean, look at these guys, they're all puffing away. We got everybody puffing away. So much steam power here. See, they're doing a horsepower test. They have a braking set up there. They run it off of a drive belt. And they're testing how much horsepower they actually each have. So that belt runs over to a braking setup. That braking setup is being water cooled. And they come up and they put her put the coals to it. They all get in line to run their tractor. Show their horsepower. Show their brake power. All these steam boys getting in line. Look at there. That's the neat stuff. The big old engines, they are wicked. All of this stuff. I mean, this is just. Ah, here comes one of them. Where's he going? He's probably coming down here to hook back up. No. We'll let him keep coming. Where's he going? Okay. 
love seeing these old steam trains. Steam engines run. Look at that. First ball's out. Look at there's he steering. Crank, 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 crank. There he's controlling the throttle. Now he's bringing it back. Look at that. Okay, you can pull it a little bit faster. Okay, you're just bumping it. That's opening that valve right there, which is directing the steam from the main boiler into the balls out assembly, which is dropping it down into the engine. Look at that. Steam was king. I love seeing all this stuff. There you can see, he's turning that wheel and what it does is it goes down to that sprocket right there and it goes through the chain drive. The chain's wrapped around that cylinder there and it goes back and forth. One chain goes over the top and goes around and goes back underneath and comes out to the other side and that's how they turn. Now he's popping off. Start heading towards the gate eight, eight left already. Okay. Love you. Love you. Need anything before I go? No, what row were you again? Huh? What row did you say we were in? F. What? What, where, what row was I parked in? F? F. Frank. Frank, okay. Love you. And you won't be back till when? I don't know. I'm only going to be down there for like an hour or so. Stay down there for longer if you want. I don't care. Hour, two hours at tops. I'm tired. I don't want to be down there forever. Okay. Love you. Bye. Have fun. Keep the kid in line. Okay. Remember to stop and get a lolly, uh, a ring sucker for your sister. Get what? Stop and get your sister a ring sucker. She's going to cry about your other sister being there. Oh, I know. I would take any one of these home. I'd love it. I'd be a crazy fool driving to work. Love seeing the old Minneapolis. Look at all the craftsmanship that went into all that. I mean, all those rivets, everything. The gear ratios, just everything all figured out mathematically on paper to make that back in the day. I know, me too. I'll take one too. I'd take any one of them. This guy's up here. Oh, he looks like he's boiling out. Fire smoking good. All of this. Look at this guy. Nickel Shepherd Company, Battle Creek, Michigan. I mean, look at that. That's the main drive gear right there that drives the wheels. Off of that drive, off of right there, which is a single gear right there, comes off that flywheel which goes off from the other engine. So wicked, so wicked. They don't have the steam engines hooked up over here anymore. They're letting them take a break. Oh, here we go. I heard somebody tooting their horn. Yeah, we got one, I hear one over here. This is the stuff I love. I could be around steam engines all day. Oh, that's more of a hit and mess over there. Getting her going. Look at that. Way over there, you can see it smoking. It's a hit and miss style engine. Oh, 
Oh, here they go. They're getting refueled up. Probably had to get more water. Now they're probably going back over to run the sawmill. Were you in fire when I had when I was over here by the sawmill? And there's another chain drive. Let's crank down with a the chain. There's the balls out right up there. Love seeing that stuff. There's that gear drive. Old case. So cool. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, is any of this, I mean, it's made from the 1900s. And you buy a car today, and it's made a year ago, and it's falling apart. These things are just keep running. Yeah, they take a lot of hard work to keep them maintained. But they just keep going. What we're forgetting is how much better these old things run. And we forget, you know, just because it's made out of plastic and it's made cheap and you can buy it for 10 cents, doesn't mean you should. If I could find one of these steam engines running and somebody says, hey, $20,000, I go get a loan to get it. Why? That thing will still be running in 100 years. You go buy a brand new, I don't care, Honda engine generator, it won't keep up with that. 100 years from now, that engine will still be running. You just make sure those gears are meshed right, everything's good, and these things will keep on running. Minor fixes here and there, it doesn't take a lot, it just takes a lot of effort. Right. Right, grease in the right spots, oil in the right spots, keeping everything good, not being afraid to get out there with a wire brush and clean some rust off, rust off of it. Thing will, thing will run for a hundred years. Oh, here this guy's going. Another case. They're reloading up on wood and everything. That's what it was. It's crazy. That it takes two people to run it. But that one engine moves that whole big heavy beast. Look at that. Things are wicked. I love, I love about steam engines is how quiet they are. Unless they're balls out and they're just running. Most steam engines are like that. Like that. I mean, it's so quiet. You'd be standing on it and have a conversation. Oh, I know. I, well, I like a lot of the steam engines. I don't care which one it is. They all have their uniqueness differences. But just seeing them run, and they just keep running. Oh, he's a little heavy. He's sinking in. Wide tires? No problem. Keep her chucking. That's so neat to see. And I think that that steam engine is wood fired. It's not coal fired, it's wood fired. It's not propane, it's not kerosene, it's not fuel oil, it's wood fired. Wood can be regrown. As the wood grows, it makes oxygen. It's a, it's a very ecosystem. Sneak across over here. 
My wife just took off, so we got free roam, everybody. We're still streaming, and it's a free roam. Now they're gonna come up and hook up to the belt. Here's the neat thing. Something you don't see too often. There's a big, great big belt. They're all resetting up there. They actually run a full sawmill here. They cut the logs, they plane them. It's really neat when they get running. Give them a little bit. I mean, it's really cool. All the different support crews for the tractors. All the support crews for the tractors. All these people are just getting reset back up. We get over here in the shade. Give me something to drink. Whew. So, uh, let me sit down here for a minute. You guys can see my ugly mug. So let me switch. No. Hey, there we are. Now you get to see my ugly mug. How do you like that? Now you get my ugly mug. I gotta get me something to drink. Uh, give you guys a break from Well, no, see steam. Novice. What? I got this mic. <laughs> Not that much of a novice. I got more toys than you think. I just need something to drink. And there's people, a lot of people walking around. Yeah, you say a novice, but whatever all right where's my soda like i said you can get anything you want here i got my i got a full backpack set up here dude this setup i got batteries i can stream for a long time i've been charging my phone this thing's still at 88%. I still got another whole battery. I can stream for hours, dude. Now, what's neat about, okay, horsepower. They rated steam engines the wrong way. All right, let's see if this will work. Kind of, maybe. Maybe not. There we go. Uh, now you guys can see me. I still see chat, so we're doing good. So steam engines are rated by horsepower, right? Cars are rated by horsepower. But where's the difference? Well, there's a huge difference. You think, wait a minute, BV bro brake horsepower? No, um, so steam, steam power was rated by a, a full German Clydesdale horsepower. They took a German Clydesdale and hooked it up to a tree, a single tree log, and if the horse could pull that log, they would then hook a steam engine to it, and the same one horsepower steam engine would pull that same log. This is how they came up with the horsepower engine for steam engines. It's so stupid. But that's not how it is for cars. 
because one, Clydesdale's horsepower, it's like, I don't know, a hundred horsepower in our current gasoline market, one horsepower. So you get a one horsepower steam engine, it's like a hundred horsepower gasoline engine, and that's no lie. It all depends on how much steam you feed it. And that's what people don't understand is, ew, my soda got shaken. Good job, sitting in my backpack. So, when you think about steam engines and their horsepower, you don't realize that their horsepower is huge. It's their torque. Torque starts, you take a, a stainless steamer, it was 22 or, or, yeah, 22 horsepower was the one, and whatever, or the other one, it's 22 horsepower, but it would drive it down the road at 120 miles an hour, it's a torque. And so our engines today, see, even though they say horsepower, it's not horsepower. It's not even close to a horsepower. The steam engine was rated on a horsepower that was phenomenal high. But the car engine that we drive around today in, they say it's 300 horsepower. What does that mean? Jack crap. I think they rated it off of a dog. Could that dog pull that sled? Yeah. Can that car pull that sled? Yeah. Hey, we're gonna call it horsepower, but we're using a dog. It makes no sense on how they have the horsepower rating for cars. At all. Makes absolutely zero, zero sense. But I'm waiting for him to get this back started. I think they're starting to hook some steam engines up. I had to sit down for a minute. Oh, so all I do is stand, and, I stand at my work. Got to reach on my shoe. Yeah, came unhooked. So is there anything that you guys want to see? I've been walking around a little bit. I'm not going to stay forever because I want to go home. Got an umbrella with me just in case it starts raining again. It's been raining all the time here. All weekend it's been raining, raining. Is my audio coming through good? Good enough uh, fire? If not, I can switch over to my wireless headset that I use for driving. That thing is loud and good. Got to get a new one of them. Oh. See, I got this Bluetooth audio set up. Right here. Right here. It's actually pretty good. And my audio. Sound good on my end? Yeah, I can turn this up. There. That way I get. Heard better. Maybe that'll make it sound better. I turned it up just a little bit. Should be able to hear me better. Oh! Like I said, I'm waiting for them to fire this all back up. Now that the wife is gone, I can walk around by these steam train, steam steam powered engines all day. You have a good one, fire. Thanks for stopping in.
keep you guys on my ugly mug for a little bit yet. As I see that they're bringing in the steam engines. Here, let's swap it around. Now you won't have to look at my ugly mug. Hey, right, there we go. You can see all the wood that they've been cutting. Trimming. Yeah, you can see the difference here. That's the rough cut. Right here. That's all the rough cut. That's after they plane it. So neat. Yeah, where you go, if you gotta go get stuff done around the house, go for it. They got one of the steam trains or traction engines in there. They gotta get another one in there. I think they're coming. So neat. There's their planer, main saw blade. They have a carriage system through there with a cable. It's all really cool. Let's go walk back out here. They sell live edged boards. You can use them for making tables. A lot of other stuff. We'll come back over once I get going. I always have fun. I'll go home and get some sleep now. I'll wake up about midnight again. Then I'll go back to streaming. Yep, them boys are getting their water. They're getting their fuel. Getting all fired up, getting food for themselves. Oh, look at this little steamer. Oh my God, guys. They got it going. Look at that little guy. That is so cool. Has the kids helping out. Look at that. Just like a chicka Look at that. That's so cool. Giving her more fuel. To hook a trailer up. Thing's so cool. So cool. Teaching his kids how to kid or these kids how to do this. Run the steam engines. 
That's awesome. And we're going to kind of make a circle right there. We'll just go around. Same thing. Go around that wagon and we'll come back up and end up right over there where it's broken. Okay? Good on the levers. Okay, here he goes. Okay. Now he's going to have him get on the levers. That's the clutch. Lock it in. There. Just right there, you can see it lock in. See it? That locks it and engages it. So that it, that way it'll actually be in drive. Now there's the throttle. Or no, that's forward. There you go. Now he's opening her up. Look at it. That is so awesome. Just a little steam engine. That's the kind of case fire tractor you need. Fire. See, he's learning. That's neutral. Oh, he went a little fast with it. Yeah, that's really cool. Everybody should have a little steam tractor in their yard. That is so cool. Let's see. Looks like it's actually starting to slow down a little bit. We're stopping for lunch. I could do these. I could do. I could work around all this steam stuff every day. It won't bother me. I love steam. Steam is what's going to save our future one day again. At a current rate. Thinking back in the day, how much work those tractors did all over out west, making the fields, digging all the tree stumps out, making the fields that actually grow the field, that grow all your food today. It took all that steam power to make all the fields. They didn't make them now, they made them way back in the day. That's some of the things that we don't think about. Love the smell of that burning coal. Or if he had a problem, that's why he's sitting there, still smoking. Just keeping it cycling so they don't build steam pressure. That one's twin cylinders, see it? Because outside bar towards us, that's your valve body chest. Probably has two valve bodies because that's twin cylinders side by side. Actuated off that dog arm there. So that's the main steam body chest. There's probably one on the other side too.
Yep. Steam chest on this side. I think that's the water pumper up there. And that's only a 20 horsepower engine, but it'll plow field all day and all night. That's what people don't understand. 20, 20 horsepower engine. But yet, it'll pull and work Okay, you have fun. I'll see you when you get home, or when I get home. I love these steam engines. Still say I gotta buy one, hon. Still would love to have a steam engine. Twin cylinder, that thing would be a beast of power. Even though they say it's only 20 horsepower, that's wicked fucking power. That is just wicked horsepower. That is wicked, wicked horsepower. 20 horsepower in steam. Think of having 20 Clydesdales. Full, full German Clydesdales hooked up. And then picture a 20 horsepower engine today. 20 horsepower car engine today is nothing but a 20 horsepower steam engine. That's like I don't even know how you'd say it. It would be like 200 horsepower. It's just wicked. And how much, I mean, it's like 2,000 horse. I don't even know. i never gotten how they evaluated using a single Clydesdale and if it could move it as one horsepower for steam. But then when it comes to car engines, they go... It's 300 horsepower. But yeah, it's not squat. Take a 300 horsepower car engine and hook it up to this, and this thing will walk all over it. Oh, you're going to get fired up. Running his engine. Shooting to make sure there's no water in it. I can see there, there he's pushing the water out. There's nothing like the sound of a steam engine when they actually are chucking. When they're when they're all they're just giving her hell and they're making horsepower. Oh. I hear a big boy. Now he's kicking it in gear. Locking in the clutch. Putting it in forward, touching the gear off, just rotating it so it locks. There. Look at that. Most of that whole scenario is firebox. Firebox and water box. I mean, look at that. So neat. Oh, he's going over here. He's going back in. They got the other one going in now. Looks like they're gonna probably start up the windmill. Let's show that again. That's really neat. And 
Any of the steam stuff I love watching. All of the steam stuff is just so wicked. Oh, that boiler was inspected. Look at that. All the numbers wrote all over, that's the thickness of the steel. And now these guys are going to come up and they're going to run side by side for running the sawmill. He's running wood and he's running coal. So by the black color. You know how black that is? He's running coal. He's running wood. Coal has a lot of soot in it. Look at that. That is so neat. So crazy. There's a boiler leak there. My seal's real tight. You can see that. That's okay though. It means he's not going to build too much pressure. You can see it right there leaking. Doesn't have the door tight. He doesn't have it bolted down tight enough. That is so cool. Oh yeah, here comes another guy back. Oh, that's a different guy. Oh, that's that little tractor. They're, they're going to run the, the end cut off. So this guy here. How many horsepower is the engine? About, about, eight. about eight. I was going to say about five to eight, somewhere in there. I was looking at the diameter. <laughs> you can kind of tell, you can kind of guess by, by yeah, diameter. Yeah, that's what you mentioned, the half scale, but uh, the, power uh, doesn't scale the Right, power doesn't, power just stays consistent pretty much based on cylinder size, right. boiler size for how many, how many PSI you can hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many of these were made? Uh, there were about a hundred of these kits made. I mean, there's lots of half scales that guys have made, but this was a kit. Like, oh, it was an actual kit yeah. kit that. Now, don't call it yet, Grandma. They just use wood right now. That's so really that, cool. That piece run in there. That in there. That's really cool that you actually had a kit. Yeah, it's a, there's a guy named Turning from uh, Kansas. He built the boilers, he did all the castings, and he'd sell all that. Whoever bought them, they do their own wheels. They do their bunker. Oh, okay. They do all their machining. Yeah, machine all the raw castings down. Pretty, yep. pretty standard for a lot of kits. Yep. Here goes the door. I've been looking into is steam engines are neat. I've always loved them. My thing is, is the boiler technology that is out there now has improved by so much. Have you ever seen the monotube boilers? No. So what's really neat is when you get into a certain size engines, big ones, it's really hard to work with them. Like, cause you gotta have such a big diameter tube. You ever seen like a Stanley steamer or any of that? How it has a monotube, okay, that burns. 
what we've been figuring out is you can take the same idea of principle what the Stanley steamer is stacking coils on using a single monotube meaning you use one tube through all the way out pour the water in at the top as it goes down it would steam it and flash it as the water is passing through it collects the water vapor as the steam is traveling back up to the top and what happens then is it you have another full section in the extra heated area dries the steam on the way up. Hot fire to get superheated steam. You don't get a superheated steam, okay. but you get a drier steam. It's not it's not as wet yeah. as a direct uh, you know a direct fuel boiler. Right. Cuz direct fuel boilers you're basically at a steam bath. I'm a cheat a little use forward here. <laughs> But what's neat is the heat up time. <laughs> Luna. Well, I didn't know if I was going to get out here to stream all this. All of this stuff is so neat. We're going to keep going. My wife just went went by her by her sister took off they got a whole wood shop over here that they actually cut logs and everything I will get that they're just getting set up with new steam engines on it to take turns on who runs it two steam engines are needed to run it because they are actually sawing full logs planing them down everything they got the two steam engines sitting up they're setting the belting up right now but you can see here, that belting goes over to there, runs a drive shaft. The drive shaft then tr translates into the building there. It runs the whole sawmill there. They have a belt drive that runs a planer, and then they have another small tractor down here that I was just looking at that runs the, the end chop to cut the boards off. This stuff is always neat. Just saw my message in your here. Yeah. I've been streaming for a little while. I didn't know how long I was going to be able to stream. I mean, I've been down here. This thing's acres, acres and acres and acres. It's Wisconsin Badger, Badger Steam and Gas Show. They have everything here. From all over the country, people come. It's wicked. Every year we have this. We got a lot of hit and miss engines down here. Probably not gonna stream too much longer because I am getting tired. I normally go to bed about noon. Wake up around mid, you know, for midnight. Go to bed at one, two, three, two, three o'clock in the afternoon. And working really late. But yeah, you can see all these other steam engines they got here. I mean, ugh. Steam engine after steam engine after steam engine after steam engine. It's just amazing. Hit and miss tractors, everything. So much stuff here. Tractors come, uh, some of the steam tractors and regular tractors come over here and they have a brake brake course test where what they do is they hook up a belt, runs over here to this water brake setup, runs a whole braking system right there. They probably apply brake pressure to it at a consistent rate with water. That then presses down on a scale and that gives them how much actual brake pressure, brake horsepower to have. It's really neat. Here's another one that they do it on. This is a little bit different. They still have water to keep it cool, but these tractors are running a little bit different. Old McC McCormick Farm All, narrow gauge for the front. I could spend all day walking through here. Wanna go down old, old, old history of work? Get on this aisle. 
This is what was actually around the United States way back in its day. These, a lot of these were hitting missile engines. They weren't steam anymore. Back in the day, these things were all over the country. Look at Not even. The same technology. But these things are ancient. They're over 100 years old. Look at it. And they still work. We can't even make a car today that a bumper won't fall off after you drive it out of the parking lot. And here we got stuff that worked in the farmer's fields for centuries. And they still work today. Look at us. And they still start up and run. You're looking at something here won't be too long. It'll be 200 years old and still working. And we can't even make a car that will drive, you know, a million miles, but these tractors just run, 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 run. Old hit and miss style engines. Just the old school way of making stuff. And they keep wanting to make stuff newer where it's just junk. I mean, half rusted, half rusted away and the thing will start up and run. People those just don't get why I say, stop buying the junk. Give me, I would take any of this stuff and be like, oh, okay, I'll take it. Big open gearing, look at this. I mean, hit and miss engine, two cylinder, I think, running and here's, here's all your gears. Here's all your drive gears. Brake set up, drive gears here. And the damn thing will still run. That's a wood floor, wood cab. Look, sheet metal. Nineteen thirteen. Case. Horsepower, thirty to sixty. It's a heart par. Look, they put a metal roof over it to give you shade. They run it on LP, I'm assuming, by this tank here. But I mean, we we can't even build anything that remotely works. And these things work and work and work. And work and work and work. Yeah, they're a pain in the butt to fix. But they can be fixed. Stuff you buy today, oh yes, you can't fix that. You don't have the right to. But these things just keep working. Oh, uh, you want to see trucks? I'll take you up and show you some trucks. Let me get up here. I'll show you some trucks on it that you have not that probably ever seen. All right, I gotta remember where I'm at. Okay, I'm on the back side here. So I think, yeah, I know where I am. This place is huge. That's the flea market area all the way over there. That's the flea market area. It goes for acres. To acres and acres. Maybe I'm not thinking right. So well, that's the end over there. So I come up here. Where am I thinking? I think it's right up over here to the left. But they got this area of all these old trucks. I mean, just tractor after tractor after tractor. 
Yeah, I'm going the right way. I'll show you some really nice old trucks. You'll be surprised by some of this, Luna. All right. Some very old tractors, Massey Harris. I mean, non-featured tractors, though. Minneapolis Moline, International. Now, you want to see something really neat? We're going to take you over here, and we're going to show you some real history. Here, i got to go back to the bathroom. This is going to be really cool. When I first walked in and started streaming, this is what I got to see show all the old John Deere tractors but when we get up here this is where it gets to be so interesting get an old old flatbed Mac P30 still on the road I mean, you can't get anything like this. Let me zoom all the way out. There we go. You can't get anything like this, and it's still able to be drove on the road. That's not even the best. Here's some old pickup trucks, different things. Old fire department. Whew, old ladder fire department truck. I mean, and it's still a little bit more TLC, and you could probably legally drive it down the road. A full-fledged old fire truck. Look at that. That's wicked. Do you want to get into some other things? Cab overs. Look at here. 91 Ford. Look at it. You get in over here, an old GMC, National, Henderson, International. I mean, what do you want to see? All of these. This is what I walked into when I first came in. I mean, look at it. 1936 C1 model. Man, who wouldn't die to have this? Look at Look at this. All of this. Look at those big old running boards. The gangster hang on sides. International. KB6. Look at 1970, 1949. Another international. 1969 cab over. Here's a white cab over. Now, this is one you don't see too often. It's a white cab over, 1975, but it's a single axle. Single axle truck. There's another single axle up over there. But there's the transmission. That's the crazy thing. The motor is actually sitting right over that axle. GMC, 1980, 1985. Holy crap, it's getting newer. Terminator days. Terminator days alert. 1985, double axle. Yeah. Here's the other single axle that I was talking about. A little bit longer of a frame. Probably might have a coffin sleeper. Bed across the back. Probably does. 1967 Dodge. Look at how flat face that is. That's crazy. Such a flat face. Little bitty fuel tanks. 
twin fuel tanks, babies. That old enough trucks for you, Luna? We got other ones here too. I got trucks galore here. Old, old cars, old Ford pickup. There's even a VW bug. Oh. Look at here. Oh. Chevy panel, 1952, 235 engine. Look at, you got the bear driving. Somebody's got a sense of humor. They got a bear driving. Look at that. I said, you want to see old, you want to see old trucks, you want to see trucks. I told you, I got trucks here. What do you think of all these? There's another old white. Uh, there's an old Mac. That's a neat Mac. Look at this. Look at this old Mac. Look at that. Flatbed. Probably a twin stick. Beautiful. We got even older than that. Just wait. I'm not gonna point the camera that way. You guys are gonna have to wait a second. Oh, there we go. Told you we're gonna get older. We're gonna keep getting older. Look at here, the old Ford. Look at it. crank start. Look at the old Fords. You wanted an old truck, here we go. Is that old enough for you, Luna? 1928, Model A. Dang, that's nice. Look at. Interior is nice and clean. Look at that. Is that old, is, is that enough old car for you? That trip your trigger? Like I said, there's a little bit of everything here. You got food. And there's I don't even know how many acres. Because it goes from all the way over there, all the way down to there. Back that way, they have a quick camping area. A lot of people are camping. I love all the steam stuff. Every year this happens around this time of the year. I just love all the steam stuff. Some of the odd tractors, rear, rock hole. So we're going way back over by the steam. They should be cutting wood. But like I say, I got. Not gonna stick around too much longer because you look right up there. We got big storm clouds coming in again. They even having an umbrella. Because we got big storms coming in again. It's been raining. I didn't know if I was gonna make it out here. We're gonna walk all the way back up. This is a long walk. That's all I've been doing is walking and walking and walking. Here's the Alice Chalmers section. Every Alice Chalmers that you could ever think of, all through here. Alice Chalmers, Alice Chalmers, every different year, make, model. Oh, yeah. 
Which aisle can I get down that I'll be closer to the steam? Oh, we can walk all the way back up here. Been walking, walking, walking. So what are you going to do today, Luna? What are you all going to do today, Luna? I said, I'm going to take a walk down through here, feature tractor. Yeah, I don't need to go down a tractor. I like going down the equipment. I like seeing all the old equipment. Say, so we might get, who knows how bad the storms are going to get today. I'm starting to hear the steam trains. All the old mowers. 1953 Ford. Potato digger. Old school chain potato digger. One row at a time. Pretty much where I walked up the first time. Miser sawmill, bandsaw. I've been around too much stuff over my years. Making slab wood out of logs. Now I got a bee bugging me. All of these old tractors. Oh, I hear a steam engine going. Someone's given some coals to it. Let's go see who's given what. The love for trucks is love anything, yeah. It's weird, I can't see how many people are actually in my chat. Oh, that's just an old tractor. He's trying hard. That's the guy I hear. Well, the tires, the wheel wobbles because it's, it's pushing it so hard. It's a hit and miss engine. Hit and miss. See, they tried dialing it in. dialing it in. He's playing with it throttle and just trying to dial it in. Keep the maximum amount. There he goes, he's giving it.
Old combine, look at that. Very old combine. Very cool. You're back. I'm gonna go show about. I'm gonna go show. You're back. How's it going? I thought you had to get stuff done. Let's get around through here. They're running the sawmill. I'm going to show you guys that sawmill. This is steam powered sawmill. Two steam engines with the third one off on the side to run the chop saw. This is really cool. Two steam engines running side by side in sync. And they give her hell. And we come in here. And show you. This guy here is running that chop saw there. Which cuts the end of the board off makes it square when they cut it from the tree. We're going to go walk over here. There's a baby one again. There's that baby one. Very cute. in here and you guys will get to see this is really cool if they start cutting they're sitting up that big log right now they got a big tree in there Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're about, it's about to rain here by me too. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's gonna cheat with the chainsaw. Hold on, I'm holding the phone way up so that you guys can see a better view. So I can't see my chat. Yeah, Liger Queen, how's it going? There he goes, he's gonna start cutting. Old school way of cutting trees. Yep. 
Look at the size of that tree. The tree's so big, it's not even big as the blade. The blade's bigger. The tree's bigger than the blade. You gotta trim it down some so you get real. I can see my chat. I'm holding the phone way up. There we go. Yeah, stream powered, steam powered. Yeah, I know. Steam power is not dead. It's going to save us one day pretty soon if they keep this. Steam power is never going to be dead because of one problem. If they keep limiting everything to gasoline. Crack is a pain in the ass. Just trying to get through that part that the saw blade is such a Still at 82% for my battery life. I still got one more backup battery. We're doing really good. Streaming at uh, 3K, 60 frames, 1080p, not bad. Not even the highest grade phone.
This stuff is neat to obviously to see when they're doing all this. Closer. There we go. Now we got a better seat. Now you can see. You can actually zoom in. Look at it. Okay, so auto focusing too much zoomed in. You still there, Luna? Fire, who else is all in there? I can't see how many people are when I'm live streaming multi stream. I can't see how many people on my phone are in my chat right now on any of them. So I don't know if there's 10 of you. Five of you. Oh, um, I'm streaming on all five. Facebook, Trovo, DLive, YouTube, and Twitch. I got it live on all five. I'm streaming on all my normal five places. I stream everywhere. If I up my restream subscription, I would have eight or ten I can do. I'm only doing five places at one time right now. So now that they cut one side off, they're going to try to rotate it onto that side, which will make it shorter so it's not so high. Then they should be able to... Yeah, yeah I know you only know me from Twitch. But I'm on YouTube, DLive, Trovo, Facebook, and YouTube. Not quite going to make it all the way through on one part. Doing better though. What they're trying to do is nibble her down. And use a chainsaw to get with a cat. Cover my mic a little bit so it's not quite so loud for you. Oh yeah, all of this would make. That's what up up here I am from Wisconsin. They make a lot of really good wood planks out of wood from all over the state. I grew up on a farm, we always cut our own, our own uh, plank. And a two inch board was an actual two inch board, not inch and three quarters.
Still can't make it through. Made it through on the back half, but he missed his first half. As soon as they get where they can rotate at one full turn onto a flat, they'll be okay. Right, rough cut two by four. I grew up, that's the only lumber we had, was actual dimensional lumber. Look at that plank. Look at the color in that. Just beautiful. Might be too wide for their planer. Nope, just fits inside. Watch this. Watch when he fits me. Oh no, that's a, that's a board maker. Cuts on the edges too. Trims it to a stand, st standard set length or width. Ah, that's a trimmer, not a planer. That trims the board down to actual size to make it more consistent. That's not the treated. It's all the sanding smooth. When they sand them smooth, they make them rounded corners and smooth. Treated wasn't the one thing. Yeah, not treated. Wood treated is like all your green and char treated. Funny is I've cut a lot of firewood in my year. Waiting for him to get done cutting. Look at that. That's a slab of wood.
That is a nice slab of wood. I'm glad I grabbed a couple extra jump packs for battery pack backups. Keeping my phone fully charged. Too wide for the, the trimmer. Look at that flat place. You can make a nice table out of that. Look at that. Almost got a full clean board out of it. When they trim that end off, they'll have a clean board. Now they got to rotate that big beast. See how they all stab in, put their foot in, and then the heat, oh. Keep going, now they're going to rotate, pull down. Down to three, boys. One, two, get a rebite. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, I'll lift it. And ease it in. Now I'm gonna try to roll it, not kill anybody. See, I got two trim sides. Most people never get to see any of this kind of stuff. That's what I love showing this stuff. Most people never ever get to see this stuff. So I love all of this. And we're gonna get rain real soon, so I'm probably gonna end this stream pretty soon. Get heading back home, get some sleep. By the time I get home, I'll have to get to sleep. I'm gonna start to do more of the streaming like this out here live at events. Oh yeah, he made it through all the way on that one. Good. And on the backside. He won't on the next one. So one pull is a one inch. And maybe an inch and a quarter. I want it. Oh, that knotty section on the back side looks neat. That wood. Look how clean that wood is. Cut another one. That one didn't get cut through all the way. But now. What's going to be neat is they're going to probably rotate it one more time. They'll make a square log out of it. What's crazy, Fire? You ever been on my Discord? You should see my woodworking. 
Sounds like a duck. If you've never been to my Discord, go into my disc, uh, do exclamation Discord on Twitch. Yep. Go look in my art section. I got a wood art in there. I, I've, I have a C, I have a three horsepower uh, water cooled spindle CNC set up. I've carved a lot of wood art. I'm gonna start making videos on it maybe. Now that I got this working. Right now you'll only be a guest until I get in there and then when I get in there I will give you uh, privileges higher. You'll be able to see. Hang on. See if I can do this without messing up my stream. Okay, I'm still streaming. There, fire. I, uh... I, gave, I, I changed it so that you are a uh, player and stuff. Now you have permission to po post and all that. I gotta do a tortoise for purely. I'll list you as a streamer later, so if you ever do a stream or anything, you'll automatically be a streamer role, and when you stream it, I'll announce you. You're good people, so I don't mind immediately doing that while I'm streaming. Uh, not yet. I've not gotten around to it because of my work, and COVID hit about the time that I was going to get started doing it full time. I was going to make it into a job, but COVID hit and shut down all the resale shops and everywhere that I could sell it here. So I kind of stopped it. I haven't gotten that far. Like I said, now they're gonna flip it again. I know about wood cutting. I did enough of it as a kid. So now they're gonna rotate the log again. All right.
I would just give it to Pure Lady. That way I wouldn't have to do any paperwork. I would have to find something that I could make that would be like a two and a half D. I would like to do it, I'd have to have like a two and a half D turtle. Tortoise, tortoise. You know what I'm saying? Something that would be a real neat design. We're gonna open the soda without splashing myself. Oh. My soda. Yeah, but what does he do? Is he doing uh, the 3D or 2.5D wood car carving like what I'm doing? Or is he just making uh, boxes, making all your furniture and stuff? Yeah, no, I would have to look around and find like a good two and a half D image or even better than an image, but like a picture in like uh, either a 3D image that I could then smack it down and make a plaque like a turtle, then carve it completely out. Like you see some of my other ones where it was, it's two and a half D and one side is flat, but it makes it go around the corner. If I could find a turtle, that'd be like one that you could put on her desk or put it on the wall, then I would carve it, no problem. Like, oh, I got the eagle where it's a 3D image that I just flattened off one side. Nice cutting boards. Chainsaw time again. I'm not 100% sure. I was, at first, I'm thinking it's not white oak because you're getting that red staining there. See that from that lower? So, and you're getting the red staining up higher. That's not, a, that's not like a, a white oak. I'm thinking maybe like one of those popular. Like one of those different poplars, because there's a, there's a few variants that I've carved in there for woodworking with that. I'm thinking something a little different. It could be like a southern, like a gum tree or something too. I don't recognize the, because the grainage is kind of weird. Because if you're cutting this way, you would see a lot more marbling layers running along the tree. But you're not seeing the layering, it's kind of like weird. I, I don't have it. I don't know. Sometimes I can tell by the smell when they're cutting, but I can't tell. Earlier I thought it smelled more like pine. 
but then it's cutting too hard to be fine. And when I cut pine, man, I can hear it's like butter. Especially when I have a chain set up for cutting red oak or something, and cutting pine's like butter. So whatever it is, it's a little bit on the harder side. But look at the wood chips, how white it is. I'm thinking it's gotta be like a poplar or something. Like, I know there's like four, I've seen some big ones. Uh, it depends on if it was partially rotted and it might've been a tree that was partially rotted. Cause look at how, look at the moss on the top side there. It's, it's, it's been, a, it's a tree that sat around for a long time. That's not a tree that was taken down within the last year. Well, I've seen, I've seen some poplar that's pretty hard. I've, I've seen see wood cut into it. When it, when it, it actually, if it sits in the sun. Cause look at the, look at how gray it is from U, from the UV. Okay, that UV will bake the resins right into it and make it hard as a rock. Pop, there's certain poplars that are real sappy, and there's some poplars that are not sappy. There, there's some poplars that are like pine. When they dry out, they're like, you know, you know, there's nothing there. But I have some that I carved into the other, the other year, and it was hard, as hard as oak, and it was not even harder because the kiln dried it. The kiln dried it when it was wet. All that hot, heavy uh, sap, kiln dried right into it. Oh my God, that was like cutting sand. I never seen a poplar that was, I had to go back to the place that I bought the scrap pieces from them. What kind of wood is that? Well, that's our kiln dried poplar. What do you mean kiln dried poplar? Poplar's like frickin' pine. No, no, not this stuff. They use carbide bits to cut it because it, that poplar, when they kiln dry it, when it's green, comes almost like concrete when it sets up. No, it's not redwood. Oh yeah, yeah, Connor Sewell's boat. Yeah, that's 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 cool. I know a guy that's up in uh, Colorado that makes uh, desks, he makes all kinds of desks to all kinds of. No, that's not redwood. Redwood's very different. That's uh, I think it's a it's a it's one of the soft or hard breeds of poplar, or one of them, or it's uh, I don't even know. I'm gonna try to figure it out. If I can feel some of the wood chips, I can maybe tell you. could be like a beetle, beetle kill pine. See that green? See the, yeah. that's like the beetle kill pine. Like a ponderosa pine. That may be like a ponderosa pine that got some beetle on it. And because it came from like out west somewhere, it's been sitting around a while. Because you notice how this side's really clean, but that outside layer, you see all that greening in there? and the different textures and colors in there, that's like Beetle Kill got into it. Yeah, look at some of that speaking back in here. It's kind of weird. That almost looks like a crack. But look at those planks. Yeah, that's, that's a pine. Now that's getting into it, look at the yellow. Yeah, now you can smell it. He's getting in deeper into the wood, now you can smell it. It's, that's like a ponderosa pine to be that big of a tree. 
Yeah, now those are pretty. You take that one knot out, look at how clean of a board you'd have for how much. You got a four foot piece, 18 inches wide with no freaking knots. Look at that. You could take a, a one foot strip all the way up to that last knot there and have it, have it about a foot wide and five feet long, no knots. Yeah, that's fine. Look at how it's flexing. It's way too soft there. Yeah, that's just it. Uh, actually, it's not as bad as you think. That has those most of those big blades like that have removable teeth, and they only one cuts on one side, one cuts on the other, and they each cut only half on the top. That's why they have such a wide thing, so every other tooth is only cutting, so it takes half as much horsepower. If it's a full cut blade, then each tooth will have a full service on each side plus a face face cut. Now that takes horsepower. Oh boy! That's why they'll have a left and a right for each blade for teeth. Yeah, you can see how big the teeth are. Look at look at when it's spinning. Look at the opening going way back in. So they'll have an insert, and that that's the teeth. It just takes a little keyway to take them out. They can take them out and hand sharpen them, or have them have a little grinder that they can use, like for sharpening a chainsaw. What they're missing on there is those a big counterweight, like a big flywheel on the backside, usually about twice the size of what your saw blade is. Yeah, but then what happens is your saw blade will keep mostly going on momentum except for at the time that you're cutting, so then you'll use very little horsepower to re-amp it back up to keep cutting. Most of the cutting will happen from the stored energy. Yeah, like a chainsaw blade every other tooth. Exactly. That's how the bigger blades work. Smaller blades, they don't worry. They, even a lot of your skill saw blades are every other tooth. One tooth is tweaked to the right, one tooth is tweaked to the left. That's the advantage of making it so you need less horsepower to make your cuts. Ooh, he hit a hard knot there. Oh yeah. Look at how rough it cut. Yeah. Still pretty wood. But. I love watching this. I'm gonna go back out. We'll go back out and see what the steam engines are doing. What do you guys think? Stuff is neat to see. All right. As you can see, fire and everybody else, we got a nice crowd here. Yeah, I know you'd love to have some of that wood. Oh yeah, that little guy is just a pumping away. That's the, that's the nice thing about a steam engine. You cannot beat having a steam engine. 
they just chunk away. Chunk, 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 chunk. I said, this is a hillbilly festival here. Love it. When we last left this guy, he was just pulling up, getting ready to go. But look at that steam engine is hardly even moving. That belt is moving real fast. It's just chunking away. Ball's out right there. It's doing really good. Balls are moved out, he's moving. He's stoking the fire constantly. That little tractor is just a chugging away. I love that. It's getting darker and darker, like we're gonna get rain down here pretty soon. That is so awesome to see. Just that one little cylinder, about eight horsepower, just chunking away. Consider that a toy? No, that's, a, that's better than your garden tractor. That thing will never stop running. So now they're using that to make the wood that they're using to burn. I could be driving that little guy. That's a small one. Brinkman. I drove stuff way bigger than that. 988s, 990s. There's the two steam engines. Just uh, making the horsepower to make that whole sawmill run. Ka -choo -ka -choo -ka -choo -ka -choo. I love that. Oh, there you can see where he was just stoking the fire. Look at it. Running the steam engine, blowing off some of the steam. So the thing about steam engine, once they are fired up, they keep working. Set it up to make your electricity for at home. You can set it up to make anything you wanted. You'd have it run on a generator. Ooh, we got rain coming in here, folks. I think I am gonna have to end this stream here pretty quick because that rain is coming in right there. You can see we are gonna have rain here real soon. <coughs> I got a long walk. I'm gonna start walking my way back out. Maybe get home and I'll stream another game when I get home. Let's start working our way back out of here. I'm gonna call this the end of the stream here pretty soon. I didn't know how long I was gonna be able to stream, but I'll tell you what, with that storm coming in, I ain't gonna make it for much longer. <laughs> oh, there we go, he's he gonna take off, here he goes. Love that. Oh, what happened? You guys will get to see him take off here, maybe. There he goes. Minneapolis. Here he goes. Oh, yep. He's backing up. Blowing the water out. Dumped their fire ash box making adjustments. Got a parade of tractors coming through. I don't know where they're all going. I was hoping to see him take off. He's not smoking anymore. Oh well, let's get going. We're gonna keep going. Oh, 
going to walk ourselves right out of here. Like I said, I'm going to probably end my stream here pretty soon. I don't know if you were there, Fire, when I walked through all the trucks and everything else. Kind of walked back down that way. This is a big party. You can see all the way down that way. This thing goes for acres. It's acres. They have a digging thing going on over there. I haven't even touched it half of what's here. He's running a belt there doing, uh, I don't know what they're doing. Something with a straw or hay. But we're gonna keep on going. This happens every year here. Oh, I gotta show you this. They do have this stuff going. I, didn't, I just realized they have it going. You guys will like this. I know it's going to storm any minute. That's fine. I got an umbrella with me. This is where it's going to be cool. They have something going on up over here with one of the old bucket dredges. This is something that not many of us ever get to see or even be around. This is an old, 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 old bucket dredge. When I say it's an old bucket dredge, I mean it's old. Get around this guy. Look at this. He's trying to feed something, a sorter, crusher, I can't quite see. Look at that. Very old bucket dredge. Look at Oh yeah, that was a while ago. Look at here. There's a rock sorting. Look at that. As it lifts, it pulls the center piece up. He has the other cable that pulls it back towards him. Swings it around. All lever action. See that? Okay, now I'll walk back out and show you guys the trucks. See, they're putting it into a sorter over there. How cool is that? That's one thing you don't get to see too often. The old school bucket dredges. Everything's always a backhoe or anything like that. Very cool, everybody. Very cool. All right. I don't know what the hell they're doing there. Thatching the hay. Getting, I don't know if that's a wheat machine. I'm not sure what that one is doing. That must be a wheat sort separator. All right, we're gonna go back out. I'll let you see a bunch of the old trucks over here. You got to saw a bunch of the hit and miss engines and some of the other steam engines, all that stuff. So that's really cool. We'll get you. That's an old jaw crusher. Fuck yeah, look at that. That's an old jaw crusher. Belt driven. It's got a long ways to walk now. I'm on the far corner. I am way on the far corner. Parked all the way out in half. 
but I will stream this all the way back out almost to my pickup truck. That way any of you guys want to see like where we are, you can. I don't care. Like I said, I stream. I'm going to be starting to stream all kinds of stuff fire. You won't even believe. I got rides and amusement stuff in my area. I'll be taking you through. Got to get some more agreements made with some people and let us do it. Might even take you go-karting one day over here by us. Might see about taking you on some roller coasters that are over by us. Got all kinds of plans for you guys to see. Get into some of the amusement parks that are over by me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to like this up here, Fire. This is all the tractor land. John Deere, Farm All, Moline, International. That's farmland right there. But this is where I had fun. And all the way, see all those white tents? All of that? That's the flea market. And that goes for, I don't know, 20 acres. I mean, yeah. Now, fire. Stop and look. Look at all of these old trucks. Oh, I even seen some Model A's down here. Ha ha. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? What do you think of that guy? Look right here, it has an old Mac. We got all kinds of goodies down here. I've already went through all this stuff earlier. But I love looking at these old Macs. Oh. Look at them all. All these old vehicles. Old fire truck. I have to go watch my video on YouTube to go see the rest of this. Just give you a taste of what's in the video. I went through all of these vehicles. I went through all of them and showed you the internationals, all of them. All the way up to the old international. Look at Look at that beast. You have to go watch the video. I know I love that fire truck. Look at these old cab overs. You don't see them anymore. Especially a single axle, single axle cab over. Man, there's no VW. Boy, you guys are gonna have way too much fun looking at my video later. Look at the old wood or the old panel. Ho, ho, ho. Got a bear driving that one. Look at here, an old white. International, international Mac. Nice, clean old Mac. Then, when you get over here, nice lifted international. That's nice. Now we get into, oh, 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 oh yeah. Let me take a look over here. Look. I'll take any one of these. Here's a nice Model A. Look at 1928 Model A. Man. That's wicked. So. I know. Tab over trucks. I know. That's what's neat. I said we have everything down here. This is why I love to come down here. Try to make it every year. Not every year do I make it. But that's the whole flea market area. It starts way down there, from way over there, all the way back up to there. So as you can see, it's a big area.
Have a good one. So now we gotta walk all the way out there. Could have hitched the ride, but we're gonna walk. They're all parked. What I like is I can actually still stream. I think I'm at 3K, uh, 60 frames, 1080p. I've been streaming that all day, not a hiccup. I still have one full battery pack. That tells me I could at least do, yeah. How long could I do? I bet you I could do a 16, 17 hour stream just on my phone. How cool is that? So, let me switch over. Nope. Nope. Hey, now you guys can see my ugly mug. There. So, as I was saying, you'll be able to have too much fun. Yeah, the old flat noses. Yeah, well, they got these all roped off. Must have to go out the back way. F. So we're down here. But I'm going to start to do more of these kinds of videos. This and a lot more. I'm going to keep making more and more. More and more, many different kinds of videos. Not gonna find where my truck is. Anyway, you try to do one every week. Yeah, but are you streaming it? Are you streaming it? See, I'm gonna be starting to stream them. 